Recorded live with little or no editing, it's defense up. I'm Run7. How you doing? Today, we are going to be going over Elder JM 990's defense. If you've never been here before, we grade on five different criteria. It's who you're using, their placement, their power levels, their ISOs, and what kind of mood I'm in. I would like to mention that a lot of times, people come into my comments and they get upset with my opinions. Like, upset about it. And it's like... Yo, if you don't like my opinions, you could go to any of the hundreds and hundreds of other MSF streamers who specifically cover war defense, and you could listen to their opinion. Oh, wait, I'm the only one. Yeah, I guess you're stuck with me, aren't you? Anyway, I'm happy to talk about stuff in the comments section. If you have a good question, uh, if you have an adjacent view, just be respectful. And um, yeah, go into the comments and talk to me about this stuff. I read those. I try to at least get one response back to every comment. And then if you do have a good question or if you have a good alternative or you just like to say, hey, you should try this, I love that stuff. Because I love theory crafting. I love theory crafting war defense. And I know that war defense is like the least important thing in Marvel Strike Force right now. But if you have everything else done and your defense is a total mess, you can send it to me, links in the description below, find me in my Discord, and we can fix it up together. We can take the garbage that you've got and maybe put out the dumpster fire and just have it just, just regular garbage, non-flaming garbage. <laughs> anyway, team number one, let's get into this. We have Guardians. This is a not exciting team. This is a super duper boring team for me. It doesn't even have Gamora on it, not that it should, because I mean, you need her for Infinity Watch. Oh, hot coffee. Okay. Here's what you should do with this team. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> They're not worth investing in. I mean, I guess you could throw an ISO on these guys. It's just like level one. This team just isn't worth building up. It's not even worth getting war ready. Wait until you have a reason to fill a slot with something you're going to put to ISO level four. This team has no value outside of war whatsoever. And you are so far down the chain on these ISOs. I mean, so for those of you who are wanting to build this team, we can go over the proper build. You know, if you got, you know, resources to spare, you're going to go healer on her. You're going to swap places with Groot. You're going to make Groot a skirmisher. You're going to make these two strikers, and you're going to put either Fortifier or Raider on him, your choice. Then you take him up to ISO level four, make him war ready. ISO level, yeah, war ready. Whatever the, yeah, war ready is ISO level four. A little brain slip there, sorry. Um, yeah, and then you're going to run the team. The other thing you can do is you can take out Drax, you can take out Mantis, and you can put in something other than a Guardian, and that'll help this three-piece to do its triple and quadruple hit combos better if you have those ISOs put in, like I told you. Uh, but really, this is a garbage team now. It's so old. It's so outdated. It really needs a rework, and I don't think we should touch it until maybe another movie comes out and it gets a little bit better. I, I guess you could put an ISO on these two, and you could change these ISOs since they're only level one. There's just nothing going on with this. I think you should just leave it. Don't even worry about it. But as is, this is like a C minus. It's not stopping anything. You do have technically the incorrect ISOs and no ISOs here. It does need to be war ready and everything, but my advice to you is just, just leave it. Who cares? Get back to it later. Um, so there's some touching up you can do is changing those ISO level ones and placing the ISOs there, swapping out characters maybe if you want. Whatever. Team number two, Fantastic Four. You've got a fantastic placement. I like that. Um, you have Skirmisher, Skirmisher, Striker, Striker. That's okay. Actually, that, no, that's correct. And you got Healer on her. I like her better as a Fortifier just to make her that much tougher to get through. Um, but healer works great too. Get these guys war ready. It's a pretty decent de defense, um, at least in early stages of the game it is. Uh, people in, like, especially if you're plat one or lower, you can come across a lot of people who will think, I'll just clear this with Black Order. And if your She-Hulk is built up, man, she can mess up a Black Order. It's, it's kind of funny when that happens. Um, but I mean, you could build them up. Just make them war ready. War ready, and, and then you're good. I mean, you could farm the stars, I guess, too, right? Get that power level up a little bit more. It's not a team that's super worth investing in, but a back burner project. It's okay. Um, I'm hoping that someday soon they maybe touch up She-Hulk or, or do something with the rest of this team because it was such a fun team, and it really has very little value outside of war defense. 
it just it actually is a, a, an okay slot filling war defensive team i'm really selling it right it's okay as a last resort anyway um uh if you get their uh, war ready and some of those stars on there i can give you an a for the team right now it's a b team number three Red Skull Hydra. I like the placement where Red Skull is either here or here or even in the middle. I don't like him off to the outside. He takes zero damage in the beginning. Um, I do like that he's uh, bigger than the rest. That's better for Blitz. Uh, it makes his team survive better in Blitz. I actually need to do that to my Blitz team is raise up my Red Skull. In War, though, he could be almost nothing, right? And they, they have to get through the four. Another way you can improve this team is by putting Zemo on it, but Zemo has such value elsewhere, and this isn't a big number to be working with in the first place, so I don't recommend that for you. Just letting other people know what they can do. ISOs on this team don't matter so much. I do like Fortifier on everybody because they die and revive, and they'll revive with a certain amount of extra hit points. And you've got Healer on him, which is okay. Uh, I kind of like him as a striker. Um, or, or, you know, you can do Fortifier, so he's a little bit tougher to get through. Uh, as is though, who cares about the ISOs? Make them war ready so you get that, that focus boost and stuff. This is a good team to be running on defense. When you get up to like 300k at your level, it's kind of tough to get around. People have to come in with something to deal with those those charges over Red Skull. Um, so yeah, it's, it's all right. I think you should change your placement. I think you should do a little bit better job on the ISOs. We could do Striker or Skirmisher on Sniper. Uh, I believe this is Trooper, so Raider or Striker is okay. Uh, this is if you're not doing Fortifier on everybody, by the way. Healer's good here, Healer's good here. And then I like him, I, uh, as I said, as a Striker. Um, yeah, I like him as a Striker, not a Healer. <clears throat> okay. So, as is, this is just a C team. You gotta do a lot of things to it with the war ready, the stars, the placement, changing those ISOs around. Um, yeah, and getting your over your overall number up over 300 would really, really help your defense as a whole. Okay, team number four, wave one Avengers. Look at that, you're not running around Skilletary? That's amazing. And you got her beefed way up. What'd you take her into Dark Dimension 3 or something? Um, Okay, so your power levels are super wonky. If you want anybody to be powered up on this team, it's going to be Thor and Hulk because they're doing those AoE smashes. You need Hulk to resist the stun. Um, also, change placement with Widow and Hulk. You could also run... Um, oh, I'm sorry. You want, you want Hulk, Captain America, either Black Widow or Thor, then the other one, and then Hawkeye. So your placement's way wonky. Uh, you went Skirmisher Striker on these two, totally acceptable. I like Raider on Thor. Um, other people do him as a Striker for straight up damage, but I like him getting those Vulnerables out. I'm a big fan of Vulnerables, you will find. I like Healer on these two, so that's pretty good. Make him War ready, change that placement, beef up these two. You might consider putting her on the Skilletary team for offense. I'm not a fan of Skilletary, but it does work, man. Um, I, I'm running her on Skilletary in my Blitz, and man, they, they do so much better in Blitz with her on, on that team. It was amazing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give you a B- minus for this. These War Ready levels need to happen soon. This is a pretty stock and standard team, and you've got this big old Black Widow in there. It, I just It's just weird seeing the big high numbers on Black Widow. I don't see it like that very often. Um, this number right here is a little bit deceiving because these two need to be your biggest and they're not. So people are gonna overshoot this and slap it down. Get your war ready levels on there, change your placement, and let's go. Team number five, OG Sinister Six. This is what I like to see. The only thing you can do better is get Rhino out of here, save him for those offensive matches where you might need him against like a Doom Brotherhood team. Um, but otherwise, I like what you're doing here. Uh, raider, Skirmisher, Striker, Skirmisher, Striker. I like him as a Raider. Otherwise, these are all fine. Totally acceptable. You don't need to build him up. You don't need to make him war ready. It doesn't really matter. You are pretty close to having these three war ready. Your alternative character, who's that? That's going to be Shocker? Yeah, Shocker. Um, depending on how, how big, whoever you put in here instead of Rhino, if they're really close to being war ready, you should just take them to war ready. You know, you're on the fence with these guys. It's kind of up to you. You've got a big number going here. You might think about making them war ready. Placement doesn't matter so much. I just like Rhino save for offense. So as a filler team, 
I'm gonna give this one a B minus. I think this is a wasted character that should be on offense. I think you should get somebody else in here. I do think you should go ahead and take them to war ready levels. Get that last star over here as a back burner farm. That'll bring up this number and just force people to come in with something. You know, something it'll just force them to use up that energy point with a bigger team. All right, team number six. Hero Brawlers with Wolverine and Deathpool. Interesting. No ISOs on Wolverine. Well, obviously Wolverine needs to get a striker ISO. Gotta do that right away. That's a big no-no. That doesn't cost you anything to put level one on him at least and make that happen. Also, I think you should be building Wolverine as a raider. Um, yeah, he works on this because he's a hero brawler, but you don't have the ISO on, so what's the point? Get him out of here and build him uh, as a raider for offense. I'm running the four piece of Weapon X right now. It's doing some great damage. Like, it's amazing. Like, they'll go through and marauders. Just sheer brute force, you know? <clears throat> um, and, and that's as a four piece with a total, like, a, a, a nobody. Like, I'll take him in with just the four and, and an empty slot in the middle. And they're, they're crushing teams in war. It's just amazing what they can do. I can't wait to get Omega Red on that team. Uh, but as for this team... It's not worth building this team up. Maybe Captain Marvel, you could use her in some of the raids. Deathpool, of course, is a fantastic character. Wolverine should be used on a different team. So this is a, a temporary slot filling team. So temporarily, if you wanna put Striker level one on him, go ahead. As is, this is like a C minus. It's not stopping anything. It's You're wasting this big character right here. This is an overinflated number up at the top because Deathpool has 207,000. Half your team is in one character. Like uh, a low level symbiote is gonna come in here and just annihilate this team because they'll get, you know, kills or in the red off these other people and then they can just have all that speed built up to go after Deathpool. So it's kind of a flop for me. I like Deathpool on the new warriors with Loki and like Silver Surfer or any fifth really. A plug and play fifth of your choice. Heck you could put in Captain Marvel you want on the team, who cares? And they go in there so fast and spread blind and all sorts of fun stuff. It's just a great team. Um, Oh, the Edamame song. This is kind of a fun song. Oh, well. Anyway, I think this is kind of a waste. So C minus for this team. I think you should just break them up, get a better defense, use this on offense, use this on offense. You could probably use this on offense. Put these guys on the bench. Hero Brawlers are not that great. I'm sorry to say. You got to use two good of players from other teams to make a good Hero Brawler team work. And the old school Hero Brawler team, this leftover stuff is all just trash. Team number seven, Mercs. Yeah, I'm not excited about this build. I'm not excited about this one. Okay. All right. We got Skirmisher here. That's one you got right. Make him war ready. We got Raider over here. He has a lot of synergy with the Raider ISO. But on this team, he needs to be a striker if you're going to go Skirmisher for Taskmaster. Honestly, with what you're doing over here with a like Ghost on this team and stuff, you might as well switch Taskmaster over to a striker and go for that basic copying of effects on him. You know, because you'll have Raider putting out some vulnerables and then you'll have and he crits a lot, too. So you'll have a lot of vulnerables on the field with him and you'll have these two uh, doing double taps off of those vulnerables. That might be the best way to go. You can build these two up a little bit to help your overall number and X force is going to come in here and knock these guys under 50 percent. And just destroy this team. I do like your placement. Placement's good. That works. I mean, you don't need him adjacent. You could even put her adjacent because of the heals. He's self-healing and she'll get some heals off of off of him or some, I don't know. Well, actually, no, she's dodgy and you need the person to actually get hit. I'm not sure if it's attack or on hit where he heals. I think it's when they hit him. So maybe keep it, keep it for now. Somebody in the comments will let me know because he does healing when an adjacent player is either hit or targeted. I'm not sure, I can't remember. I'm not perfect guys. That's what the comment section is for so you can make fun of me. All right, what I like to do with this team, I like Skirmisher, everybody else is Striker. I like Shuri in this position. That way you can make these both Striker. You could also put in um, Bullseye if you already have him built up. He's not worth building up though because he has zero value outside of this team other than the Payday event, of course, but who cares? You got other mercenaries to fill that slot. You probably have an X-Force with a, you know, um, a Deadpool in there. Okay. Let's, um, 
Yeah, let's put Ghost someplace else. She doesn't have a lot of synergy with this team. She's prolonging negative effects that don't really happen much with this team. I mean, there's some blinds coming off a of Taskmaster, I guess, but by the time she gets around to that, it's just on auto, it's not happening. So, <clears throat> yeah, I like somebody else in here. Probably Shuri with this Killmonger goes best. Get these guys' power level up. Get them up to 14 if you want to be serious about that. You'll have like a 600k team. You might think about Ultimus also. Ultimus might be a good fit at that power level going that high. It might work. But man, these guys are just so lopsided and powered. I don't dig it. So change the ISOs. Keep the placement. Choose somebody else here and get him to... Yeah, get him definitely changed. Um, yeah. <laughs> Or keep it the same and and uh, change him to striker, whatever you want. I don't know. I'm gonna give you a B for that team. I think it, I think actually a B minus because these guys are a liability. Like an X Force wouldn't normally be able to punch up this high, wouldn't scale that well. But these guys are so low in power. I I, I see these Mercs under eighty thousand, and I think that's my X Force because they'll knock them under fifty percent, then land the ability block here and just start chewing through people. Team number eight, Doom Brotherhood with Red Guardian in there on the end. So, uh, normally we see Toad in this spot, and Toad will go and make Blob taunt early. You don't need that because you got Red Guardian taunting early. I don't know what you're doing with your Toad, but maybe you just have this guy built up early. So, there is a Helizemo team that would easily defeat this, but that's kind of it. I mean, Shadowlands might be able to do something, maybe. Uh, but, but even then, that would be a risky play. I like how you have the deflects on off Blob going to Magneto and Dr. Doom. I think that you should swap Dr. Doom with Juggernaut. I think that's a better placement because then your Juggernaut's a little bit squishy compared to Magneto. Well, Magne actually, they're about the same squishy. It's just Juggernaut's underdeveloped. So put him, swap places with Magneto. Um, I think that you should maybe put Fortifier on Juggernaut for the time being help help out that squishiness unless you want to build him up more and then uh blob has to be a skirmisher 100 percent make blob a skirmisher uh he retaliates all the time and so he's putting those counter those vulnerables out there on his counter attack red guardian you have as a healer that's fine sorry everybody i'm blocking it he's a level five healer so keep him there there are other things you can do with red guardian but you already got a level five healer that works all in all, I like this team. I, that's not something we see a lot. I think it's gonna be challenging. It doesn't look like you're running Skilletary on offense because of your Black Widow on Dawn defense, and so Red Guardian's over here. You're not really wasting anything if that's the case. Yeah, I, I kinda like this. I think there's some things you need to do, like like uh, swap placement here, change these two ISOs. I like Fortifier here, and I like Skirmisher on him. Otherwise, pretty good team. I'm gonna give you a B plus for that. Um, if you had the placement and the ISOs ready, I would probably give you an A plus for this because it's different. It's different enough and you're doing it really well. Okay, uh, somebody in the comments, uh, write to me what you would use to beat this team. Uh, write to me what you would use to beat this team if they had the proper ISOs down here too. Um, Cause I'm kind of curious. I would just use a Hella Zemo team, but I know there's something else that would work. And it might be like a, uh, a dad bros with Rhino maybe, I'm not sure. Team number nine is like a Emma Rodders kind of hybrid thing with Doc Ock and Minerva. So without Strife, this team isn't as strong as it could be. Here's the problem. You don't have anyone taunting. That allows people to place ability blocks, stuns, disrupts wherever they want and can shut this team down easily. So yeah, I think Hmm. Tricky. Who in the bottom row should we replace with a big fat strife? Think we should take Sabretooth off this team. Yeah, take Sabretooth off this team. And then I would like to see you swap places like Okay, let's go. Let's go Strife. Emma and then we're gonna go Minerva, Doc Ock, and then, no, no, no. Then we'll go Sinister, Doc Ock, Minerva. There we go. So swap places with these two, put in Strife over here. Strife needs to be a fortifier. Healer, 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 healer. Yeah, that works. 
Got a lot of healing going on. The reason I don't want deflects going on Emma um, is because I want deflects to go on Minerva instead. Minerva's so squishy. If you can keep her alive, they they kill Strife. She brings him back to life. So it, it the team becomes kind of tricky for Shadowlands. You kind of need um, the extra T4s on your Shadowlands. You've got a big number here. You're really close to making this work. Definitely get Strife in here. I think you should trade places here with those two. The the deflect with with uh, with Shadowlands, the deflect on Emma doesn't really help with him landing that ability block. I'd rather see just the damage reduction for her, you know, her blocking on, on Minerva. So as is, it's Without Strife on this team, this is actually a huge liability for you. You're kind of wasting everybody because a lot of teams can destroy this. You can come in with some hybrid team, some hybrid control team, and just tear it apart. You just land the ability blocks in the right place. Stuns and stuff like that, and, and you just destroy this team. So I'm gonna give you a C for this. You're doing a lot of things right, except this one thing without Strife. They need that opening taunt to, to not allow your, your opponent to tear it apart. So I'll give you a C for that. Change it to Strife. Swap that place so you get the A. Team number 10, Heroes for Hire. Um, perfect. You could bring up his ISO levels if you want him to match the team, but you're already over 800. This is ridiculous. So I think it's a perfect build. Yeah, nothing to be done here. Good job. I'll give you the A for that. All right. <clears throat> uh, so this has been Defense Up. Appreciate you coming by. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. If you want your team featured, find me in Discord. Send me a message. At me in the general chat or DM me, whatever you want. I will find you. The list is actually pretty short right now, so I could probably get you in maybe even this week. I think I have one spot left open this week. We'll see. Otherwise, don't just have a good game. Good yourselves and each other too. I'll catch you next time. Bye.